What is the highest mountain in the world? Everest, you know. Second one? How about third one? Or fourth one? Who is the first one who walked on the moon? In Armstrong. Who is the second one? Third one. Look at this example. Uh, Amelia Earhart was the fir- third person who flew over the Atlantic Ocean. But we know, we remember her, but she was the third one. Because she was the first woman who has done it. So again, she has the first position in her mind. This is the art of positioning. And you can apply these strategies in your business to position yourself as the first in the mind of your prospect. Let's enjoy this amazing book. Welcome back to Just of Marketing. Nowadays, there are thousands of brands, names, information, channels. Oh my God, you know that. It's not necessary to mention. And among all this information, our mind capacity is not unlimited. It is limited. So we want to make sure that the prospect cannot forget our name. But is there any way? Is there some strategies? Yeah, there is. So let's go back to the examples that I said uh, at the beginning. Uh, the first man who walked on the moon, we know. And uh, right now you have this idea in your mind. The authors divided the history of the advertising, actually, in three parts. The first one is production area. At that time, as a... Uh, Rosa Reeves said, you need a USP, unique selling proposition. You should show that I'm different from the other product. But it's over. Nowadays, there are thousands of products that they are almost like each other. They are alike. And the next area was image area. That, and that area that tried to, with, with mass marketing, they tried to get as much as they can, re- more reputation, more fame, and more image related. And they wanted to uh, spread their image everywhere that they can remember that. And after that, we have the positioning area. After this part, because when we start, for example, production area, USB, all companies try to do that, then reputation. And right now, we got to the point of positioning. You should create a position in the mind of your prospect and, uh, and it's not enough to just invest or invent a, an amazing product. And with a lot of examples during this book, we find out that's true. Okay, the first point that I want to mention from this book is uh, to put a new brand into the mind, you should just delete another brand or old brand or reposition. There are two ways. Delete or reposition to uh, get your brand into the mind of the prospect. Why? Because mind filters. Our mind automatically filters those relate those information that they are not related to the previous knowledge. Actually, you see what you expect to see. Actually, you see what you expect to see. That means. Because of this knowledge that we have in our mind, we accept those knowledge that they are related to this knowledge and other reject it. Another, a nice example in this field is uh, Coca-Cola started a, a brand new Coke. And when they started, uh, when the prospects didn't know the brand, nothing, they just taste, they like it. Three to one people that they uh, tasted, they like it. But when they start this brand, they reject it. Why? Because in their mind, Coke has this feeling, this taste. They reject what is there in my mind. They reject what, they, what is not related to what was in their mind. Let's have a better look at more strategy in this field. 
Okay, the first thing that you should learn is product ladder. What's that? George Miller, the professor, the Harvard professor said that uh, the average human being cannot have more than seven units at a time. More than seven units at a time. So, uh, and if you ask someone, and because of this, I think uh, the, you should see these seven numbers in almost all cultures that they have seven, seven, seven things. Huh? And... Uh, even if you ask someone to mention seven brands in your industry, mostly they cannot do that more than seven. <clears throat> so to cope with this amount of products and uh, ideas nowadays, for example, in United States last year, about four million, four million books are published. Four million books. Crazy, yeah. So uh, to cope with uh, this amount of uh, information and idea and product and brands, we have in our mind a, la a ladder, a three-stage ladder, a three-stage ladder. So we can have between three to maximum seven uh, brands or products in our mind. So and. Uh, moving up this ladder up to this ladder is so difficult and we and we consider some examples that this shows that how much is difficult if you want to get the first place in your industry and move up this ladder so between three to seven okay so in this book uh, we discuss uh, mostly about three steps or three first levels in the mind of prospects okay uh, the mind has no reason for what's new and difficult unless it is related to uh, previous knowledge. That actually, I explained that before. But good examples are right now because the first time they do want to introduce cars, they call it horseless carriage. Horseless carriage. And uh, later on, uh, tubes, tubeless, tubeless tires, tubeless tires. Why they choose these names? Because they know our mind rejects what is not related to our previous knowledge. Let's go further. Another strategy is against, uh, against position. Actually, this book uh, belongs to 2001. I I'm not sure these companies are still there or not. But anyway, at that time, these three companies, Hearst, Avis, and National, they were the three top uh, car renting uh, companies. So at that time, I was tried for 13 years to get the position of hers and say we are the number one in this industry. That was a failure. So when they accepted that we are the second, their sales goes up. Why? Because in the mind of the prospect, they say, you are the one, you are not the one, because you should be first in the mind of the prospect, not in your, in, inside your bottle, as a cool uh, example, I would say, or like Burger King, then they accept we are the second. It's so important because it's not about the quality of your material or something, it's about what position do you have in the mind of the prospect? Another classic example is Uncle position. When Seven uh, Up tried to fight against Cola and Pepsi, two two ways. So that was kind of failure until the time that they in 1968 uh, that they tried to say and accept the third position. And till now they are, I think, uh, it's the uh, third. Uh, soft drink in the world and so after they accepted this idea their shell uh, went up from 87 million to nine, uh, 190 million and uh, the lesson from these examples is that you should find your concept inside the prospect mind not in you or in your product okay uh, one more point that I want to mention in this strategy is uh, history shows that uh, the first brand, for example, okay, Kula, they have uh, twice the market share uh, in comparison to other brands. For example, for each six uh, bottles of Kula, four bottles of Pepsi 
is consumed. Six, four. Okay, let's go to another strategy in positioning. Another strategy. Look at this sentence. Power of the product is derived from organization. Wrong, it's reverse. How? Look at this example. Coca-Cola has no power outside the field of cola. If they want to build it, they have to go to the competition from the beginning, like other products. So they cannot extend. A good example of this is a Twitter that when they introduced Lexus. Lexus is a good positioning uh, example. They didn't say it's Twitter Ultra, it's Twitter Plus, it's Super Twitter. They say this is Lexus, something else. And they build the brand, they build the position in the minds of prospects. So, and they can do it, they can have this in two ways. Getting in the, into the mind first or repositioning the leader. So it doesn't matter, this is the color, this is Twitter. When they go to another field, they should compete to be the first or reposition the leader. No plus, no ultra, no super. Okay? So, and another good example is uh, protecting and gamble. They introduce like crest, head and shoulder. They don't say crest, toothpaste, crest, shampoo, crest, what? Tide or another example. From all from one company but different brandings, different position in the mind of prospect. Okay, another interesting strategy is Cherchez-le Kireno. I'm not sure that I pronounce it correctly. It's a uh, French uh, sentence means uh, look for the hole. So Kireno, or actually is a niche market nowadays we can say. So you should try to find some place that people didn't try it. So if all people go to the north, you go to the west. Kind of philosophy like this. So the first uh, Kireno is the size Kireno that is like a Volkswagen at that time did. At the time that all cars were big, they positioned themselves as a small. Think small. That was the first, uh, the, the successful uh, first campaign of the car that Beetle that they introduced that uh, car named Beetle at that time and uh, my generation don't remember that okay the next one is the high price crano the highest price crano is uh, when you try to when you try to introduce yourself as a high price in your market it doesn't matter it can be a popcorn or beer but you should have a strong reason why you have this high price, okay? Not without any reason, just put a high price on your product. So, and, uh, and in your ads, do not forget the point uh, that in your ads, you should work on this idea of high price that when the customers go to the shop, he wouldn't be surprised. Even the uh, shop owner, they want to, uh, distribute your uh, product, he, he or she, she wouldn't uh, be uh, surprised because of your price. On your advertisement, they saw that you justified that. Okay, so the next one is low price Kereno, that's uh, simple. And other effective Kerenos uh, are age, for example, you just can focus on old, young, teenagers, sex, like Marlboro, just focus on men. Next one is distribution, the area that you want to distribute. And the next one is heavy user position. Some people, they are like heavy smokers or heavy drinker. You should just focus on them and try to position yourself this way. Okay, let's go to the next point. Before I move further, I want to right now summarize a little bit, then we can go further. Okay, the first, we, we, till now we got this point that product is made in a factory and a brand is made in mind. Okay, not in what is in, in the bottle, okay, what is in, mind of the, in the mind of the prospect. Okay, so uh, about positioning strategy, I mentioned a few and a few more later on. And, but before I go further, I want to say about the first step is name. 
because I, I have a video uh, about uh, by the name of Hello. It's one of the best books in uh, finding the right name for your product or for domain name. So I didn't mention anything here. So you, you, can, you can just watch that video and learn what you need for finding the right name. Okay, more, uh, another point is two traps that uh, people uh, got into is technology. In a uh, long time back, uh, a company introduced 8AT uh, white whiskey. But come on, whiskey in the mind of the prospect is brown. White whiskey, white whiskey has already a name. The name was vodka, gin, and others. And another trap is everyone. You cannot, you cannot uh, do something that everyone likes. It's, it's not possible. Okay? So you should be aware of that. Okay, another point. Another positioning uh, strategy is repositioning. How it works, or we can say creating your own uh, kereno. When you want to introduce your product, you should move out the previous one in the mind of prospect. One of the good uh, ways is conflict. As uh, Stolichnia or Stolichnaya uh, started that, that they said, okay, Smirnov is not a Russian vodka. The only vodka that is made in Russia is this one. So they changed in the mind of prospect a vodka that is made in Russia, actually with uh, something that is made in another country. I think it's made, of, it's in, it's made in UK. So, and, uh, so it's not about comparing, it's about repositioning. You reposition the way that they think about, for example, this, this example about the a, a Russian vodka. Okay, so another good example is Burger King campaign. Broiling, not frying. So they differentiate themselves from McDonald's, yeah? We broiling, we don't do frying. Okay, another point. Okay, another interesting point is the mind works by errors not I. What does it mean? When uh, Volkswagen introduced Beetle to the market, it was verbal. Think small. Look at the campaign on the internet. You can find the picture. So every successful position program was verbally oriented. Okay, another important uh, issue is uh, anonymity is a resource, especially in the world of politics you are familiar. When there is a new face, there is a new energy, there is a new, uh, it seems so attractive to people. Because these old politicians, people have the record of this person. So it's not easy, you know, to position that person in the mind of the prospect. So anonymity is a resource and you can beat somebody with nobody. Okay, very important, absolutely important. Uh, next point is the line extension trap. It's so contra controversial nowadays, till now even, uh, companies try to extend their product, especially, for example, if you're familiar with cigarettes, they try ultra, you know, blue, light, brown, different, uh, different products with the same brand, with the same position. But why they do that? Because it's easy to sell. When they start, they sell because it's related to the position of uh, the position that they made already in the mind of the prospect. But in the long run, is a disaster. Why? Because it doesn't have an independent position in the mind of prospect. How we can prove that? Two simple uh, tests. Let's see. Okay, the two tests that you can find that they don't have uh, dep independent position in the mind of the prospects. The first one is shopping list. When you have a shopping list and you go to buy, and when you say Crest, for example, okay, Crest, shampoo, Crest, toothpaste, tra Crest, just Crest, huh? When, 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 uh, when it has a single position, independent, it's different from the situation, so it makes it easier for prospects to remember and to know this brand. And another one is bartender test. When you want to buy, they say, okay, uh, for example, a cigarette, huh? red or blue? 
or blue or uh, ultra or I don't know, normal one. It's all the time the Christians. When they say this way, that means it doesn't have an independent position in the mind of prospect. It depends on another one. Okay, so it works. Some, some conclusions. It works big if. If your competitors are foolish, if the volume of the production is so small, or if you cannot do the advertising. Otherwise, don't do that. But still, it's a controversial issue. Okay. Positioning is not just about products. Positioning can be used for different purposes, like a country, carrier, or a service provider. The first case study that I want to explain is about Belgium. Belgium at that time couldn't bring a lot of tourists and it, they, were, they were awful in a way in tourism industry. So they ran a super successful campaign. What was that? In beautiful Belgium, there are five Amsterdams. What they say Amsterdam? Right now you know why. Because they want to connect this to the knowledge that this is already in the mind of the prospect. Super successful. Five Amsterdam in Belgium. Okay, the next uh, case study is a service provider, Long Island Bank. At that time, they were awful. They couldn't uh, stop people from uh, putting their money in uh, banks that they are located in other cities, not on the island. So that was the main challenge for them. So what is the solution? At first, you should find out what is your position in the mind of prospects. So they did some experiments, some uh, researches to find out what's going on right now. So they, uh, they distributed some <clears throat> papers and in uh, these papers they asked <clears throat> to score different attributes. Okay, different attributes. For example, range of uh, branches, uh, quality of service, <clears throat> full range of services and blah blah and help Long Island residents. In all these attributes, Long Island uh, was awful. Just one attribute was good. That was help Long Island residents. So right now they got this idea, okay, people understand or the position of us in the mind of prospect is we help residents of the island. So they ran the campaign as this. Why send your money to the city if you live on the island? Why send you your money to the city if you live on the island? Super successful. 15 months later, not just this one is on the top, all other attributes have changed. Super successful. Okay, now the next part. Okay, position your carrier. You can use positioning not for companies, service provider, countries, but for carrier too, in three steps. First, define yourself in a single concept. I am the best, for example, lawyer in uh, your town. A small town, big town, whatever is that. Just a single concept. The next one is right name. Don't use initials and I don't know, John 2, John 3, John 4. Something simple and uh, identifiable. We, we discussed this before. So, and the next thing is find a horse to ride. Someone can help you to get what you want. The first one is your company. If you think that your company is not... There is no future for that. Leave that company. Try to find some companies that they are looking forward and they are going ahead in a nice way and there is a future for them. The next one is boss, your boss. Next horse. You, if your boss is not smart, try to work with the smart bosses because they help you to improve. Next one is friends. Keep in touch with people. Help them. I think you have this experience too, that uh, after a voice someone calls you and asks you something, it's so awful. All the time help people that if one day you need help, they would be there for you. 
The next one uh, is an idea. Uh, when you have an idea, you should be careful or you should know that many people ridicule or make fun of you. Even the writers, uh, the authors of this book, after they published some people, famous people, they said this book is nonsense. So you should have faith in your idea and be ready for controversial discussions. And next one is uh, fate. Your next horse is fate. Uh, you know the story of McDonald's. The uh, brothers, this is the family name of them. They sold, because they didn't have faith, they sold their recipe and the name to a guy, R R Ray Crook. And uh, so this guy that almost all of his life was a loser, because of his faith, he got it. And one of the richest men at that time. So, and the last horse is yourself. Try to to believe in yourself and don't lose your faith in yourself and try to get what you want and I think this is the main horse okay and just one more point okay the last part six steps to success okay the first step is what position do you own what is the situation right now for you what is the position that you have in the mind of the prospect? You should find it out. So search, do some research and ask and try to find out like the Long Island Bank. Okay, so the next step is what position do you want to own? Okay, what position do you want to own in the mind of this prospect? So you have to think about it. The next step is who must you outgun? Uh, let me explain this part with an example. For example, in football, uh, it's so simple. You have to carry the ball from here to the end and one score. But from your perspective, yeah? But is it that way? No. You have to encounter 11 people. And you have to go through all these people, then you score. So you have to consider from the competitor's perspective too and have some strategy for that. Okay, then it's the best way is to be a specialist, to narrow down your market, the, the, your niche that you can uh, handle the situation easier. So the next one is, do you have enough money? Especially for this part I said, <laughs> you have to narrow down your target because it needs money. It's not easy to, you know, be on the top of the mind because nowadays there are so many advertising, so many messages. So, and you have to, if you want to be at the top, you have to spend a lot. So it's not easy, then narrow down. And next one is, can you stick out? When we want to talk about stick out, we have to consider that Nowadays in society, we are experiencing rapid change. So fast, so crazy. So how we can cope with this change? Simple, two things. First, you have to think about a long range point of view and determine it and stick to that. Have the long way strategy stick to that and don't change easily yeah to be able to survive in this situation that is all with all these changes around you next part is do you match your position mostly people that they want to be creative have problem with position because positioning it, uh, restricts your creativity for example if, if, you, if you position yourself as a kind of personality that it needs to wear uh, a tie, not a t-shirt. So you have to wear your clothes according to your position. What position that you have in the mind of the prospect. Okay, so it's, it must be subordinated 
to positioning. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is one of the classic books of marketing and I hope you enjoyed it. I tried my best to give you the most important parts of this book. Thank you so much. Take care and bye.